What is going on guys, it's the Muck Designs here. I'm coming to you guys with a brand new logo tutorial on how to make a monogram logo in Adobe Illustrator. And the first thing you guys want to do is make a new tab. And you're just going to go to the rectangle marquee tool. First, make sure that the primary layer is black and that the stroke is off. And you're just going to drag and make a rectangle, a pretty lengthy thin rectangle. You're going to highlight it, click Alt, hold it, and duplicate the layer. So now you have this rectangle over here. We duplicated the layer so that um, if we do anything to this layer, there's still another one has backup. So I'm going to make the letters PR, which are very well used in monogram like logos and very easy to do. And you just want to make this a little bit thinner. All right. And the creativity and the letters is completely up to you guys. I'm just giving you an example. And I'm going to go and start off with transforming it, rotate 90 degrees. And I'm just going to put this over here. I'm going to shrink this quite a bit, probably in half. Like that. And I'm going to do one letter at a time. So just shrink that down. <laughs> Duplicate it. And now what you guys want to do now is Alt, click this layer, make a new one. You guys can go ahead and delete the bigger one if you want. <laughs> um, right click it, transform, rotate. I'm going to go 45 degrees just like that and I'm gonna try to make this fit in here perfectly Let's see. that's fine alright now you're gonna to want to do the same to the other side but first alt and transform rotate and let's do 90 degrees put this right about here and you're going to want to select this layer hold shift and select this layer come down to the tool shape builder tool select it hold alt and click away the layers that you don't need whoops click away these two layers so now that you have this uh, you want to alt and duplicate this layer right click transform reflect and I'm gonna go horizontal alright now I'm just going to place this here that's fine I'm gonna sh shift click both of these and then uh, shape builder tool and alt delete so now I have a sharp P so far um, actually this is going to be the R I'm going to make this the R I'm going to go ahead and alt duplicate this layer bring it down here I'm going to rotate, rotate this layer and I'm going to duplicate this one again so that's kind of like this Perfect. Let's make these both the same length. <coughs> so far, so good. Now I'm going to go ahead and make the P, which is a lot easier than completely doing another letter. All you need to do is hold Shift, select this layer, select this one, select this one, and all three of these. Ignore the second leg, and you want to click Alt and Control it up. All right. You want to select the whole entire layer. You want to come down to Pathfinder. If you don't have Pathfinder, it's found in Window and Pathfinder. You only want to click this Unite tool. It's going to unite the layer so they're all one piece now. And I'm just going to go ahead and move this right yeah. over here. All 
That's pretty good. Trying to make this in the middle. All right. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to make this stick a little longer so it reaches the ground. So I'm just going to alt and click this one right here. And just, there we go. And as you guys can see, it's kind of starting to look like a monogram logo, but it's missing a little um, the pieces on the floor to finish it off. So what I want to do is alt, control, click this layer, transform, rotate, 90 degrees. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and put this right here. Maybe a little smaller. And Alt duplicate that and bring it over to this one. But this seems a little big, so I'm going to make that a little bit smaller. There we go. And right now it just looks like one big shape. You can't really see the definition between the two uh, letters. So I'm going to go ahead and cut pieces off of this. So what you want to do is you want to make sure this is all one shape. And Pathfinder tool. Go ahead and delete this. All right. So now what you guys want to do is you want to stroke this layer. To do that, you're going to go to uh, Window, Stroke, and it should be up here. And I'm just going to go ahead and increase it. Make sure it's on the outside. And I'm not going to make it too big. Around 7. 7 looks good. Object, Path, Outline Stroke. What this is going to do is going to outline the stroke. So you can click Shift and click this layer. So that's both selected. Go back to your shape builder tool, hold Alt, and just cut these pieces off. You can now cut the stroke off, so you don't need that anymore. All right, and I'm gonna do the opposite on this letter. I'm gonna actually gonna stroke this one. And it should be seven. Object path outline stroke shift click the other letter go back to your shape builder tool hold alt and just delete these two mm -hmm. and when, once you're done that just select all the layers go back to your pathfinder and hit unite and there you go you have a fully vectored monogram logo and you can basically do anything with this you can use it as your personal logo you can use it as your twitter logo your youtube logo anything you guys want a branding logo it's up to completely up to you guys so um if you did like the tutorial please like comment um i'm actually going to be giving away this um uh, logo in the description um for you guys to download and play around with um so yeah guys uh thank you for watching and yep